<laughs> Good morrow, my little chickadees. Tis I, Jenny, your one and only flotation device in the geeky sea of geeky things. I'd like to take this opportunity and acknowledge that today is a truly momentous day for geekgasm. Today marks our third show! Brain intact. This goes out to anyone who's ever had a dream. You too can someday own a little naked dude statue. And to all the naysayers out there, suck my dick! I'm at the show. So the DC reboot has us hovering in some sort of purgatory between excitement and terror. Before we sit on our throne of judgment, we need more specifics when the New 52 hits shelves in September. Granted, some of the character redesigns we have seen do indeed suck shitballs. Especially working class hero Superman. I didn't know the Man of Steel was reduced to a Hot Topic t-shirt and jeans. Is there anything left that's so sacred to the DC Universe that we have to be 100% against starting back at 1? Leave the DC Comics alone! The more we look at it, maybe setting this rickety shit show on fire and rebuilding is for the best. What the hell can go wrong with a reboot, right? Oh wait, tons of shit. Especially if you're rebooting a cult classic. Hmm. Speaking of reboots, Bradley Cooper has decided to back out of The Crow. Those involved with the project claim that it's going to be a grittier, darker take on The Crow. Right, because that was the problem with the original. Way too lighthearted with all them f***ing rainbows and musical numbers. For the love of Jeebus, leave the crow alone. Please. The original crow was dark, profound, and Brandon Lee gave a fantastic performance and his life for this film. There is nothing to be gained in revising this classic. And anything that they decide to turn out will only pale in comparison. The two frontrunners who are in talks of replacing Cooper are Channing Tatum and Mark Wahlberg. Hey T-Bird, say hi to your mother for me, okay? We conclude our remake trifecta with the Devil May Cry game. A franchise barely a decade old is being invented, rebooted completely. Boo! Dante, who used to be a hunky badass, mm -hmm. has become very puny and wiry, complete with Flock of Seagulls hairdo. However, the gameplay shows us that, in spite of his cracked out British emo punk rocker aesthetics, the kid still got moxie. As you can see, this game still looks and feels like the Devil May Cry we know and love. Minus the badass hero. Let us hope this skinny little bitch can earn his horns and prevent us from slitting our wrists during the course of the game. I feel the malice in my veins. My heart swells with hatred in your name. Alright, it's no secret that us fanboys and girls are an opinionated bunch. We are loyal, sometimes even to a hostile fault. And Comic-Con getting a little violent at the end. A man arrested for allegedly stabbing another man with a pen, and normally... Maybe we are too harsh sometimes. Maybe we should quell our judgmental ways and embrace more of the new ideas out there. Instead of curb stomping them before they... Come to fruition. You know what? Bite the f her, my that's all I've got for you today, lovelies. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook, as well as our YouTube channel, so that you can stay up to date with all the latest and greatest Geekgasm episodes. A special shout out to Shane and everyone from Think Geek for providing us with some great merch, including this pretty sweet t-shirt I'm wearing right now. As always, stay geeky, my friends. And if you don't get out of my face in the next couple of seconds, I'm going to have to pull a restraining order on your ass. <laughs> have a great day!